Everybody, please welcome Thomas Bouzon, a.k.a. <laughs> Reyes from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. How yes, are you, mate? I, Thank you for I'm, coming onto the show. I'm great, man. Thanks for having me. Mate, where are you at the moment? Because this is a beautiful styled home you've got here, if this is yours. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm currently in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> take us take us back because I, I want to know how you got into the business and sort of how this has led to you, you know, all these years of you honing in your craft, how it's led to you doing some voice acting in a Call of Duty game because I know you've done movies, TV, everything. So talk to me about that. Um, I started... I mean, I studied theater in Vancouver and a little bit in New York as well, and then um, started with theater and then transferred over to TV and film. Um, I've always been interested in voice, though. I mean, like, it's something that I've always, um, I don't know, I've always been attracted to. And yeah. And somehow I had um, I decided to to contact my my the voice department of my agency in New York and I was like, hey guys, I mean, I, I speak different languages. I I love to to do some some voice uh, some voice acting, and also you know for commercials and everything, you know. Mm. Uh, so I started auditioning, and I've I've booked um, you know commercials here and there, and and then um, Call of Duty was was quite an interesting. Uh, um, I mean, <laughs> the auditions that I get for for Call of Duty are just so fun because they send you a bunch of lines and then they give you like, you know, a, a rite of passage. Like this is, you know, have fun with it. And, and yeah. you know, they give, they give you this kind of build up. And here I am in my house and in my home, in my house. And I'm just like yelling <laughs> by myself, <laughs> like, <"Whoa>, right. <laughs> and I'm sending it in. And, and then, and then I haven't heard back in a long, you know, I didn't hear back for a little while. And then my agent calls me to say, "Hey, uh, so this they had a um, they had a, a working title or like a, a secret title just for the game, and so these these guys want to book you for for this character." And I go, "Wait, w which one is that one?" <laughs> like I was, I, that was months after, and uh, super thrilled that they 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 booked me because in the audition they were asking for a canadian accent and they were also asking for some french lines so i just threw in some french lines in there um i have a few friends who were in the canadian forces so i called them up and i was like how would you like how would you say this how would you say that like are there things that you guys you know that 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 is recurring in how you guys uh, uh talk uh, you know in the field of combat and then a bunch of you know a bunch of my friends came back with different lines and so i used them and threw that in there for the audition that's, that's really interesting are you yeah. fluent in french yeah yeah so i yeah. i'm i'm french i'm french canadian and then i learned from english quebec, when quebec, i was back yeah from quebec yeah exactly yeah. exactly and then um i learned english when i moved to new york when i was about 20 i mean I, I i learned english before but i didn't really get to practice so when i moved to new york i couldn't speak I could barely understand and then but just living in the states kind of pushed me to learn the language oh, so you yeah. didn't know english at all you can so not much a lot of no, people grow much. up in quebec and don't learn english at all we we have english classes but we don't necessarily get to practice unless you live in montreal mm -hmm. um i mean we have like oral exams and you know you know yeah written, written tests but we don't really get to practice if you live in a you know a small french town good luck unless you travel yeah. a lot you, you, yeah. you're not going to get to practice much yeah so how much of your voice work and your acting work do you get to tap into that french side would you say uh, i'd say 50 50 50 i'd say 50 yeah. yeah 50 50 i really i really enjoy working in french as much as i work uh, as much as i love working in english it's not yeah. um i think uh, i think there's creativity to be found in both languages i think i um yeah for different roles different projects different you know different productions and it's just it's also a um it's always a matter of collaboration um and that's what yeah. i think that's what drives me more than anything else yeah mm. and you were you always going to be an actor because you you did a psychology degree and an exercise right. degree right i i didn't i didn't finish my degree unfortunately but <laughs> i i i left um, I got out of college and I decided to study theater. Um, I was going to psychology 
in this English university, but I didn't speak English. So I was like, okay, <laughs> great. This is, this is, this is really interesting learning, you know, the, the, the learning the field of psychology yet not necessarily understanding what the teachers are, are, are teaching in front, in front of the class. And, and yet I always had to go back to my books and just read everything so that I could understand what, what, what was happening out front. Cause I could read, I could read totally fine, but you know, just understanding <laughs> on the spot in class was a different story. <laughs> so I, uh, I left, yeah. I decided to got out to get out of college to, to study theater. Yeah. Yeah. And so how long have you been doing full-time act for years now? I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, I would say about 15, 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. 15, 20 years. Does that yeah. feel good to say that? Cause that's not many people can say that cause it is tough. Yeah. It's yeah, tough it business. is really interesting. It is a tough business. I'm really lucky and I'm really, um, I'm really lucky and I'm, I'm very grateful for all the, op- for all the opportunities that have presented themselves to me. And I, I have to say that I've had some really, uh, really amazing. Um, yeah. Like a really amazing chance to be able to do it full time. Mm. Um, I also do photography on on the side, which is really another. Man, your portraits are being... incredible, by the way, man. I was oh, able you, to check you... out a few. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. That's man, very you got nice a of skill. You. <laughs> You've got a very a lot of skills. I'm a bit jealous, actually. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like that's very nice of you. Thank you. I mean, I I I have to say that this is uh, you know I just I go I go towards what what I really um, am passionate about and just, you know, just like you doing interviews, I wish I had the skills to actually interview. There's something that I really enjoy in asking questions and just getting to know each other. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. There's something yeah. really, uh, there's something really beautiful in that, that I, I'd love to, <laughs> I don't know, probably yeah. work on I, that skill. The only thing I wish is if that we were in person, that I was in LA or, but maybe one day, you never know. A lot of my yeah, guests yeah, yeah, are from LA, so it probably would be uh, the right move. But um, so, is it but, something that you do every day? You just wake up at five AM, six AM to, <laughs> <laughs> to have an interview with, with it for a I, decent time. For, for you know, well, I, I predominantly do gaming actors, but um, or anyone within the gaming realm. Um, okay, obviously, I've done other people as well, like Michael Mando. He's more mm-hmm. TV, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I have done over a hundred, so probably one every few days, I would say. Nice, <laughs> the last few nice. Years. And maybe it's the gaming landscape because um, everyone seems to be a bit more humble or something. There's something mm-hmm. in the voice acting community. People are just a bit more humble, a bit more. I don't know what it is. Do you? Do you have any idea? I I think I mean it's a it's it's a very hard industry to break into um but like i said earlier it is really about collaboration Mm. um from uh, from casting from production let's say you uh i mean i i think i think egos are i'm not saying that voice has egos i'm saying that every any any realm of, of <laughs> any humanity realm. has yeah. ego, you know. <laughs> yeah. Any realm has yeah, ego, yeah. and it's you know it's not necessarily bad to have an ego. I guess it depends how you use it, because the ego will be there to defend you to a certain degree. But yeah, um, I think it's just a matter of not taking to taking it to the extreme. But the voice the the voice world is really, especially the, I mean the gaming world. The experience that I've had, everyone is absolutely friendly. It, it is, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I personally fell in love with that world just because, hey, everyone is, If I mean, it was during COVID, so it, everyone was yeah. staying away, everyone was working from home, but if we could just, you know, give a, a big hug to each other and just, <laughs> all right, let's, let's get, let's get to work. And, you know, mm. it's really, um, and not necessarily taking it easy because it's a lot of work. It's a, it's oh, so yeah. much work. But and it's tough it's on also, the voice. Uh, vocal cords it is yeah it is yeah yeah we would do we would do four hour sessions and then we'd probably go about 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break Mm. and during those 50 minutes you know you get to you get to talk through your lines as well so that you don't necessarily yell for 50 minutes straight you you're Mm. talking through your lines so that not only do you want to understand what you're saying but also just for a little break between the lines to say you know to tell a story or you know 
Yeah. Just to, to yeah. bring back the, you know, to, to, to rest the voice a little bit. And yeah. A lot of the actors I spoke to, they said they got to do it from the belly, not from the throat. Project from the belly. I don't know if you, mm-hmm. did you do similar <laughs> techniques to, to get through those, you know, cause you got to do the coughing scenes as well. Like, cause in the game, yeah. you got to go in the gas. And yeah. each character's got a cough. I mean, there's some ridiculous yeah, yeah. stuff that you've got to do. Really. There's some breathing. There's some hard breathing. There's yeah. some uh, jump, jump, jumping down from a wall, like a 10 foot wall, six foot <laughs> wall, different like jumps. a two foot. Yeah. 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 Different jumps. Yeah. There's different, di- different sounds. How are you going to die? So are you dying from a, you know, from a bullet or are you dying? Don't worry. You're not dying when I'm gas. playing at you. All right. You're, you're winning every game. Don't worry. About <laughs> That's it. good. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. <laughs> have you, um, yeah. have you had a chance to play Are you much of a gamer at all? Or I'm guessing you've got too many hobbies that gaming falls on the wayside a little bit. No, I mean, to be completely honest, I'm waiting for my console right now, just because of this oh, yeah. game. I'm like, you know what? My, um, my writing partner, Jesse has, a. um, PS4, PS5, I think. I don't, don't want to create any kind of advertisement here on your show. <laughs> no, you may, it's all good. You, you're it's probably going to be beeping me or something like that. No, no, no. Uh, no it's all good, man. It's all but, good. Um, I love them all. Yeah, so, I love them all. So, yeah, I, I mean, that's the thing. I, I don't, I'm not too sure which one to choose, but I'm, you know, I'm um, all that to say that he's he actually got the game and he's playing. And so I haven't yet played the game but I'm yeah. waiting for my console to to start playing again. I remember I remember when I first got my uh, I think it was like I don't know the Xbox, the first Xbox or the F- Xbox 360 when Call of Duty came out. Yeah, and I was and I was playing on that, and I swear, I mean, I you I lived in New York at the time, and 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 my console was in, in my house in Quebec, and I was like, okay, so whenever I'd go back, I would just I would just um, literally play for. 12 hours straight just in front of my tv <laughs> and you know back in the days it was it was not those flat screens it was like one of those massive tube tvs right yeah. <laughs> it was like just playing uh, <laughs> on my console yeah. for 12 hours straight just because it was my way of of uh of, of relaxing the first yeah. day i was back home yeah and that must be surreal yeah. all these years later you're in and and this game's now being played by over 25 million people how's that it's, it's crazy. It's, I mean, to me, it's a dream come true because when I was mm-hmm. playing, I remember thinking, "Oh my god, this 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 has got to be so fun to to do this, like mm. just to be part of something like this." Mm. Um, and you know, as as an actor, you get to audition a lot, and the percentage of booking is, you know, yeah. close to close to none. Um, so when something like ha- something like this happens, or you know, confirms that that you got the part, you jump up and down, and you know, you bounce yeah. off the walls because you're like you're thinking, <laughs> yes, I'm I'm gonna have fun. I'm doing. I'm getting to, I'm getting to 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 create and have fun with people, like minded people. You know, so did, yeah. Did um, did you get much backstory or lore on the character at all? Because a lot, of, I feel like they leave a little bit of that out. And you've got to sort of pick the pieces up yourself, or what? Yeah, there. I had a little bit of back uh, backstory, but not much, to be completely yeah. honest. I yeah. read the backstory after the job was done, because um, my Everyone's like been I said, my, that. My, yeah, like it's a friend of mine, a friend, of mine, it's literally Jesse, my writing partner, was like, uh, "So we got the game, and they sent me a screenshot of the backstory." <laughs> I thought, "Wow, that, <laughs> this is so interesting." I mean, when I was working in the booth with matt who's uh one of the writers and and harry the the, the director and she he, she and he were, were telling me a little more about the about the character and and we were i mean he is one of the first canadian operators in a game and you know yeah. there's been you know getting to develop that character it was really fun and really really interesting because we all had our own takes on all these lines that we had to record and so it, it was fun to mix them all and mash them all together and give different different versions of how this Canadian character could could be saying it. It's it's interesting. I can hear the like it's sort of your voice, but it's sort of not, right? Like, how did you develop the voice? Is it is it just you on dialed up? Would you say or the, the character? Um, 
Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's me because I think that there's a certain kind of uh, there's a serious side to mm. there's a serious side to, to to the game and the operators as they're coming to help um, you know the players and I think for this character it was fun to find the voice as we were going to because mm. um, I didn't necessarily get to to rehearse but with Matt and with the directors and we were we were able to there were a few a few times when we went back to the lines to re-record them so that oh. it was very consistent wow um and it was and just finding that character as you're doing it was uh, was also um like a really interesting process because some lines could be read really funny and yet yeah. they were not necessarily meant to be funny because mm. of the serious situation um, so in terms of voice, finding the voice, it was, uh, we found the voice pretty quickly. And yeah. I just remember, I just remember saying, uh, I just remember Matt going like, okay, okay, this is that line, the way you said it was, was really good. It kind of reminds me of Captain Canada, you know, Captain Canada, uh -huh, instead of Captain yeah. America. And just re remind yourself of that, remind yourself of that. And then of course, yelling the lines, finding a certain kind of not only, not only the accent, but also, um, but also uh the 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 pitch and the, and the tone of the voice yeah uh, so you you get to play with that yeah have you been able to hear much of your work yet or not really not much no <laughs> i haven't really i've heard i think a friend i think it's a friend who sent me a, a video that was on social media uh yeah where they so a player kind of recorded uh just a just a part of it of his own game and we hear ray is <laughs> yeah, yeah we hear ray is just going like uh, uh what did he say again he said like oh you owe me a two four <laughs> yeah you owe me a two four that was that was a really good one yeah uh, that's a I, good we, one. Re I really enjoyed that one you know what a two four is right uh i think so but say it so I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> you, you owe me a two four is you owe me twenty four beers. Essentially, it's a pack okay. Of 24 That's beers. not what I was gonna say. So <laughs> really, what were you gonna say? I thought it was a two by four, like a little, <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> right, exactly. There's yeah. a two four which is a two by four, but also when you say a Canadian, <clears throat> when we say you owe me a two four, that's, so that's a, a twenty four pack. A, wow. That's a twenty four pack of, of beers. Yeah, that's yeah. a big night, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you owe me big time, basically. You owe me big time. <laughs> Was there any other funny lines that you remember, or or interesting lines, or anything that you like uh, that you remember from the process? Uh, yeah. I mean, with uh, Matt did a really good job at researching Canadian uh, Canadian expressions. Canadianisms. Is that what you said? Canadianisms, right? Canadianisms. <laughs> <laughs> um right absolutely that's pretty much the uh the, the term but the um there's a uh, the double double like that that'll be a double double it's pretty much it's the same kind of uh the same kind of uh um you know you owe me a double double which is a double cream double cough uh double yeah. cream double sugar yeah um uh what else oh we're going overtime overtime because yes that's, yes that's i've heard hockey that one related that's yep. hockey related you know yeah. Um, did you get to play the game? Did you hear Ray? Yeah, yeah I heard that one. I've heard that long. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going overtime, which is yep. all right. Let's, you know, it's just like hockey. Um, and there's a few lines like this. There, of course, there's you know the very, very well known A at the end of uh, at yeah. the end of the line, which yeah. which is very interesting because it kind of it kind of asks for permission when you're when you're using A at the end of the sentence. It's A with a question, right? So if I was to talk to you, A, I'm essentially mm. involving you in the conversation, A. Mm. Um, and when you're in the situation of combat, to add A is making sure that, hey, did you hear me? You heard me, right? Because mm. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> it's and, and this is serious stuff right now. So just hear me out here, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Was this your first game or have you done games before this, this was, one? This was the first game for me, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this was man. the first game you and I truly strong. hope it won't be the last. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> I, if, if I, I truly hope it won't be the last one because the fun I've had, oh my. I mean, I'm alone in my booth with my two mics, 
hey man i'm in heaven i'm in heaven <laughs> hey you you would probably love you know with your theater background you would probably love motion capture performance capture it's got to be such a blast yeah it's got to be such a blast to get to work to get to train to get to work uh to get to work with these with the actors and the directors and the storytellers and to get to train with with real life um uh, either veterans or literally soldiers uh, mm. and train and trainers to be completely honest it's got to be it, it would be a dream it would be a dream to, mm. to work on on motion capture as well yeah Man, maybe one day i'd love maybe to see it you never knows. know like reyes is in the it's it's now a character he's he's there so mm -hmm. you never know what they can do with him you know there's yeah yeah he's gonna I, be there he's not dead yet so <laughs> he's still alive. He won't die. He nah. won't die. Nah. And if he dies, he'll be like, "I'll be back." Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what? What? What did you find the most challenging about the whole thing? I'm curious because was it was it just the logistics with the voice, um, trying to keep I it think in it, good condition? Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's one of the parts that um, I. Uh, I love working so much that at mm. this, at some point when you feel your voice getting tired and you have to, you have to be honest about it. That to me was. You sort of don't want to, not. but you have to. Yeah. You have to, you have to, because even, you know, the team can hear it. You have, you know, you have the entire team with their really good headphones, just, you know, listening to your, to your voice and um, having the voice get tired after three, four hours, to me it, at first it kind of felt like it kind of felt like i was letting them down and yet at the same time they're all no no no, no. i don't think you understand we booked you for four hours because we've done that for years man <laughs> it's like we've done that for years we have so much ex experience we know that four hours is the limit it's the cutoff you're gone whether you want to keep going or not you're <laughs> taking off and so okay cool so you get yeah. you know you get you, you get used to it pretty quickly but um yeah but every time i just wanted to keep going because once you're in the grind you just you love it i just i, I mean i love it so yeah. were you were you wrecked after every day like were you going home absolutely just tired or what no no you were okay. necessarily i was okay yeah okay. i wouldn't necessarily say tired but the next day my voice was my voice was really mangled yeah. <laughs> the next the, the next day my voice was all right i guess uh yeah i, I couldn't really talk to my dogs my dogs were like, what, what's going what's going on with this dude <laughs> what yeah, dogs do you have issues. brother by the way i have i have a rottweiler and a little terrier Whoa. oh okay yeah. they get along well they have no choice <laughs> it's like the, the rottweiler is so she's so uh she's she's so uh just gentle and and really really i mean well, they're she's, very she's smart a aren't they? dog yeah they super are smart, smart dogs super smart mm. um i remember um probably the first on the, in the second year that i had my um my rottweiler i decided to drive across the states and just do it in silence right I was, I didn't listen to radio. I didn't wow. talk to anybody. I had a pen and a paper and I just, you know, communicated with a pen and the paper. And, what made you do that? Sorry to cut me. you off. Why did you, why did no, you, no. what made you do that? It was more of a meditative okay. thing that I wanted to try something that I wanted to, I wanted to listen to what was going on inside rather than distracting mm. it with different noises. Um, and also it was a way of, of testing if I could do it. And, and my, my dog, Billy, the, the Rottweiler was traveling with me and I had to, you know, snap my fingers, do some signs and, and she really picked it up real quickly, really wow. quickly. Yeah. And since then, um, sign language is something that I use with her and wow, she, that's awesome. she, she listens. Yeah. 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 The, so the other one, the terrier, the terrier, I picked him up on, on the highway right around the corner from here. He was running down the fast lane last year on this, uh, during rush hour traffic and, um, Shit. and everyone, everyone was just driving by. So I just, you know, I decided to pull over and pick him up and because he was, he was like, a, he was a tiny little puppy, just, just running down the fast lane. Oh yeah. man, that's sad. But yeah, you know, oh. now in a good home now, that's good.
That's good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, he he's he's running the house now. Oh, <laughs> he's a terrier. Okay. Yeah, he's you like, yeah, This this is my this is this is my palace <laughs> compared to living on the you know compared man. compared to the living situation he was you know he was living before. Yeah, I love dogs, yeah. man. I tell you what. Oh yeah, you're a dog guy. Yeah, yeah. I got a golden retriever. Yeah, nice. She's the nice. best. But um, how old is she? She's three. How old are yours? Okay. Eight. The Rottweiler is eight and a half, and uh, the Terrier is probably a year and a half now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so. The other one can keep um, the Rottweiler young, <laughs> active, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Yeah. or or wear her out. Like <laughs> yeah, she'll be sleeping and then yeah. we'll jump on her. You know? <laughs> it's like oh. they talk. They talk a lot when they play. Yeah. Man, you got so yeah. many talents as well. I was, I was reading up. You know how to do piano. You ride ride motorcycles. Are you rock climbing? What I mean, what can't you do? Is there anything you can't do? I can't. I mean, I'll be completely honest. I can't play piano. I know one song. Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. That's I'm not that's too sure where that came from. No, that's I reassuring, I man. Thank I, you. I, I used to play drums, but no, I, uh, I wish I could play piano. It's something that I'd love to pick up because it's such a great instrument. And it's also very soothing if you know how to play it. Yeah. Um, but no, I used to play drums, which is something that's not as soothing. <laughs> <laughs> bit of the opposite well, to the meditating in the car. Just, yeah. just, just a tiny, just a tiny bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, there are many things I... I guess if if there's something that I really love, I really get I I, I find the way to to either study it or to to get better at it. Um, it's something mm-hmm. that I, I I love studying. I love researching. I love you know this is something that I I love witnessing as well. That's you know that's where the photography side comes in. It's just something that I. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's probably a voyeuristic <laughs> a well, voy- also, the voyeur side of me. It would also help with the acting side, I would have thought, a little bit maybe, having these mm-hmm. different skills. So, yeah. I, I would say so. I mean, writing writing is something that helps me understand scripts more, definitely. Mm. And it helps me break down the scripts a little better. Um, and I directed my first short film last year, and that was something that – Wow, congrats. I really enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's something that I really enjoyed. And um, and now I, I've got I've got the bug, man. I, I was, you know, this is this is it. I'm, you gonna do another one soon? I I gotta do, I gotta do another one. I'm currently <laughs> in pre in pre-production for my next short film, and this is something else that I, I truly enjoy doing. Yeah. Do you cast yourself or do you have to take a nope. step back with the acting? No, I don't. I don't. I don't write. Jesse and I don't write so that I can play in it necessarily. If there's a role and we don't we we don't find the the actor, I'll probably step in. But it's more. I'm creating work. I'm not creating work. I'm hoping to collaborate with people who, who are like minded. Who just yeah. You know, they they want to have fun on set, and it's a very healthy set. You know, it's very um, it's a very fun set. Um. Mm. I don't necessarily write with myself in mind. There's one, the, actually, I'm currently writing another short story right now and decided to make it an animation. I'm thinking nice. I, would love to tr- I would love to try an animation simply because I love the uh, the fantasy world of it. And yeah, e- even though it's a very grounded uh, story, it's still something that gets me creative in different ways. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Where could, can any of the listeners or watchers check out those that short film anywhere is it is it available uh, anywhere? the short film is currently doing the festival run so it's yeah. not necessarily uh, um, available to to the public but very soon i'll definitely make sure to put it on um, nice. either social media or some kind of um, some kind of a, a online platform for sure and you're most active on instagram yeah that's your. Uh, that you yeah, that's your... I have. I have an. I have an agent who who takes care of of my social media. I'm not, okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You like to stay away a little bit, yeah. I do. I'm, I do. I do like to be involved, and yet at the yeah. same time, I try not to not to spend too much time on it. Yeah. I think that's the way to um, go. 
That's yeah, the you go, man. Because you, know, you, you can, you can, you know, it's a rabbit hole of, of, you know, where, where did my minutes go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. I should say hours. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Something and else. is there anything you wanted to say to the Call of Duty fans, man? I keep on playing. It's so much fun. I mean, this is. I think I. When the game is done with respect, because I know now you can talk back in the days when I was playing, we couldn't really communicate to, you know, people, players around the world. Um, yeah. But I think that if if everything is done with with, you know, with respect, I think there's something really, uh, really bonding in, in that mm. game as well that can that can be had for sure. And they might even run into you in a in a couple of weeks, maybe. Hey, you know what? If I if I'm <laughs> if I get to play and I'll have my mic and my my headphones and everything, oh man, I'm gonna mess some stuff up. <laughs> they're gonna think they're gonna think this is a soundboard or something if you do the voice. Gonna, this can't be right. him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 uh, I'll, like I'll probably name myself Ray as number two. <laughs> Yeah. or the real ray is or you know <laughs> yeah you should man you yeah. should uh thank you so much for taking the time man i i Please. really appreciate it man thank you for having me dan really appreciate it i hope we can do it again and um before Fingers i let you crossed. go is can can reyes say anything to to dan as we close this one out uh hold on a second uh <laughs> oh my god I'm throwing you on the spot Oh my God. Oh, this is, you're really, I'm turning red now. I'm sweating. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're going overtime, Dan. Hey, we're going overtime, Dan. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. Have a great day and say hi to the dogs for me, man. <laughs>